very control vision, only getting picks, operating around small skirmishes, and almost never forcing anything, only taking it after they have created an advantage. Whereas OMG was all about brute forcing their ways around, forcing fights, moving his five, and LMQ loved playing against that. This, though, they are struggling with. And that dragon is coming up in less than half a minute's time. Fnatic have lost a few wards, but those deeper ones by the blue buff still stand. There's a pink inside of the dragon pit from LMQ, which will allow them to keep control on that front. If we look at the top lane, so as has teleport available. And we are going to see Akavan already in position. So for the immediate future, there is the advantage. We will surely see Soaz come down, or even they'll hold them off until Soaz takes the tower. And LQ is tired of dancing around. They're gonna go! Oh, the flash kick, but he doesn't connect or want to take the resonating strike. There's just too much space that would be closed in the gap, and the team wouldn't be able to follow. They easily locked down onto Cyanide. That's the smite threat down. Do they go? Vasily did take a fair amount of poke from Peke, but now that big poke is down, and LQ still has a lot of power. Got to be real careful. There's a bubble landing on towards more. A lot of damage comes his way, but the dragon has already been done, no name, just focus that one down. LMQ able to pick it up, but Fnatic are rushing up mid. LMQ does what LMQ does best, they force as five, they make Fnatic react to them instead of allowing Fnatic to dictate an opportunity. But Fnatic is doing what they do best in trying to react and push the mid lane. LMQ trying to stop what they can, very close, nothing can close in on Ackerman there. And it looks like Fnatic is forced back for now, they don't have Cyanide, a little harder to go under the turret with